I'm I'm hoping, like fingers crossed, that this gives us all kind of a glimpse behind the the curtain of recruiting. So, like, let's just take my recruitment for example, and that's how you came up because I think it was a Miami coach was walking out the front door, and here comes Coach Madison walking up the front steps, and that's why I was like, I don't know if Freeman has a guy like that on his current staff that has the stones to really, you know, literally almost bump heads with a competing recruiter on on staff. So hypothetically you leave a a meeting or a visit with a with a recruit at a school you guys don't necessarily click do you go back to the staff and then try another coach that might have a better vibe no i don't i don't think i i don't think that works i i don't i i think that one of the biggest things i've always believed in in recruiting is you have to be yourself okay. if you're a salesman if you are a salesman going into a home in football on the guys that you want and the guys that you need to win championships with, you will not win. You will not be successful because if you're a salesman and that kid buys, then he isn't what you really want on third and one. You know, hmm. you want the guy that you hit with right away. You, he's got the character. You see the mom or the mom and dad or, you know, uh, like I'll always remember, I remember recruiting Justin Tuck. In the middle of Alabama, I go to his home. I'm sitting in a home visit. Now it's Auburn and Alabama all the way on him. I go into his home and in five minutes later, his grandma and grandpa are in the home. They lived right next door. Five minutes later from then, his sisters were in the home. And I'm sitting in this home in the middle of the country talking to, to Justin Tuck. And there's like eight people sitting around the room. And I'm going, I'm saying to myself, I got a chance at this kid. This kid is looking for Notre Dame at that time. He, he was a great football player, a great basketball player. And, uh, you know, I, I can I can remember the next day staying there and going to the high school and him wanting me to introduce me to his teachers. And every teacher said, I don't care. It, like one teacher would say, I don't care if he goes to Notre Dame, but don't let him go to Alabama. The next teacher said, I don't care if he goes to Notre Dame, but don't let him go to Auburn. Hmm. So I'm going down the hall and I'm thinking, we've got a great chance at this guy. But there wasn't sales. It was the school that I was representing and what we needed at the time. And I think a player can always tell if a coach really needs you, you know, and, and I think that's big in recruiting. They say that, you know, coach, I train kids kind of on the side. I have for years, you know, young football athletes, high school kids. And that's the, sometimes the best piece of advice you can give these young men is like, go where you're wanted. Right. Isn't that what we're saying? Go where you're wanted. Not where um, you're sold. Not where you're sold. Go where you're wanted. I think the other thing, Mike, and and you were a great example of that. Go where you fit. Go where you can tell that the coaching style is what you want. You know, I mean, if you if you're afraid to have a coach tell you that's not good enough, and if you keep doing that, you won't play. Then don't go there. Mm -hmm. you, you gotta you gotta be the kind of young man that i mean you came from a great program you came from where coaching was hard where you weren't i mean you you didn't come from a, a high school program where what you did was okay no matter what it was sure and that's the same way that i think i tried to instill that that's the way it's going to be when we're at notre dame and that was good for you and other kids they don't want to hear that interesting so I'm what I'm kind of hearing you say is it's going to take time for Coach Freeman. And is at that time, does that mean he's going to have to really maybe hone his pitch? But we don't want to be a salesperson. It's like creating that perfect pitch, maybe finding the right type of kids while still being your authentic self as a, as a recruiter, as a staff. Is that what we're saying? No, I think what we're saying, Mike, more than anything, is it's going to take time for him to keep getting the kind of players that he wants. 
and the kind of players that will win championships. And as he does that, the way he coaches and the way his staff coaches, that all works together. You get the players, you coach the players, and then you win ball games.